Well, good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Josh Morris with your Tuesday morning forecast update. Another pretty nice day for a dip in the water as the heat will continue for us. Pretty similar to what we saw yesterday. High in Shreveport yesterday was 97, and that's where I have us again today. Texarkana may be a degree warmer today. I have your high at 96 degrees, and we should be into the 90s by lunch today. And uh, looking at it, partly cloudy conditions as we go through the afternoon, but just plenty of sunshine expected for us uh, as we wake up this morning. A look at uh, high pressure continues to build in across the region. We actually had a little bit of rain close to us yesterday north of I-30 and uh, there is that potential we can see that again today but I've left our forecast dry for the remainder of the week may see a few showers return late in the weekend the story will uh, continue to be the heat but it is a nice morning you'll enjoy things I would say through about 10 o'clock this morning as uh, most of us have dipped into the low 70s and we'll likely see a few 60s here before we hit sunrise no real issues but we do have some patchy fog setting up uh, again across the valleys of southern Arkansas so that'll be one thing to look out for as you head back to uh, work or school this morning after a long weekend and your wind speed starting out the day out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and that's where the winds will stay today which uh, should keep our dew points in the 60s which is a good thing for us again we don't like dew points in the 70s 60s are uh, decent for us which means you'll feel the humidity just not quite as ridiculous uh, as it has been throughout the summer your forecast highs today very close to yesterday so we should have a lot of mid to upper 90s across the region your heat index pushing uh, about 102 degrees this afternoon in most of those areas so uh, no heat advisor today, but definitely going to be a hot afternoon for us. You can see the uh, big weather pattern here. Big ridge of high pressure that's set up basically from the California coast uh, all the way over towards Alabama. So that's keeping the jet stream across the northern half of the country. That's why they're looking at some severe weather across the uh, Great Lakes states there. And uh, high is really helping us out. It's keeping this disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico uh, from making its way up towards the Arkletex. And it's, uh, of course, holding... Dorian or what is uh, Hurricane Dorian there off the east coast of Florida and protecting us from any impacts from that. So we'll deal with the heat. Don't have to uh, deal with the tropical impacts for us here. And your Robin's Toyota feature cast today uh, showing the clouds developing again just due to the, some of the humidity that we'll have in place here. We could see a shower again today. We did see a few uh, spotty showers north of I-30 yesterday, but I've left the forecast dry. As I mentioned, we'll continue to see just kind of this broken record weather pattern where we continue to see the uh, sunshine in the morning, partly cloudy skies in the afternoon and high in the mid to upper 90s. Of course, uh, we do have low-end drought conditions, which have set up here. Dry to moderate drought uh, across the region here does include Shreveport in that moderate drought. So that's one of the reasons the temperatures have been hot as well as the ground's pretty dry, which allows those temperatures to warm up uh, a little bit more. Here's the latest advisory uh, just out in the last hour on Hurricane Dorian. Category 3 hurricane at this point, and it has started a uh, little bit of a north movement here, but basically at this point it's just kind of stationary, so not really moving too much, but it's expected to continue that to the north. Uh, notice the forecast cone this morning is uh, that would be where the center passes is completely off the Florida and Georgia coastline. So I think folks there can breathe a little bit easier. They'll still see some of the uh, tropical force storm winds here uh, up and down Florida for the next few days. Eventually we could see this uh, make landfall, perhaps uh, one of the Carolina coastlines as we head later into the week and then still maintains its category one hurricane strength as it makes its way out into the Atlantic. But uh, again, the news is good for uh, folks in Florida this morning, still just kind of lingering as far as the Bahama impacts there. And uh, here's the thing we're watching. High chance that this develops down here in the Gulf of Mexico, but it will be steered into the uh, Mexico coastline as we go through the next few days. And that's because of that expanding ridge of high pressure, which will likely keep that away from the Arkletex here. So don't think we'll have to worry about that one. But uh, by the end of the day here, potentially you could have a tropical depression on our hands in the Gulf of Mexico. And the seven-day forecast shows us just staying hot and dry. We could push 100 Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And it looks like a little rainfall possible late in the weekend should cool our temperatures a few degrees, maybe not as much as we'd like, but uh, at least take our temperature out of that 100-degree range.